Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Kim, America's Holistic Food Doctor. If you saw my video last week, you saw this particular video called a huge volcano erupting granuloma on the toe. Thank you so much for your kind comments and questions. Many of you asked why I don't burn the ingrown toenail so we won't grow back. And some of you really felt that I didn't finish what I started. Well, today's video is all about that. How to prevent this ingrown nail from coming back so you don't have to have this burnt. Here's a link to my six home remedies to treat ingrown toenail video to get you ready to watch this whole video coming up. Watch this whole video to the end to see why I don't have to burn this nail 99% of the time and let's get right into the video. Okay, Salvador, you're back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How you doing? I'm doing okay. Good? No more pain, right? No, I'm not pain. Zero pain? Yeah. I'm pushing on it. No more. That big lump is gone, right? Yeah. You have a little bit of callus built up, which I'm going to clean it up a little bit for you. But today, uh, I'd like to talk to you about how to prevent this problem from coming back and be being infected again, right? So that's what, it's a very important thing that you, that you have to learn, okay? Mm -hmm. You up for that challenge? Oh, yeah. Okay, good. So I'm just cleaning out a little bit of callus that's on, that built up on there. So it's, as you can see, it looks really good now. No more pain, right? No, no pain. Okay, good. So now, what happened is that it's going to grow, start growing back, right? But the problem is if you walk on it, the pressure would create the skin to move up and then kind of blocking this nail from growing. And that's why a lot of people get this nail infected again. Okay. I don't do that surgery right away at the time of when you have an infection, like a lot of other doctors do, because I don't, I don't need to. Because if, I, if you do what I tell you to do right now, 99% of the time, the nail will not be a problem again, right? But once in a while, I see patients have an ingrown toenail, and then six months later, I see them with the, with the same problem. If they don't do what I tell them to do, okay? So what you have to do is, initially you're okay, right? But as you can see, it forms a little callus around here. So once in a while, I like you to soak it. You've been soaking it in Epsom salt, right? Yes. Okay, that softens it, okay? And then you can put some oil, like tea tree oil, to kind of rub it in this area. That softens the area, okay? Because a lot of calluses kind of form around the area and that prevents that nail from growing normally, okay? So if you can put some tea tree oil, have you ever used it? No. Okay, so you can, you can buy a little thing and you can drop it and then kind of rub it. You don't have to do it every day, okay? And then soak it once in a while to soften this, okay? And then when you're soaking it, what I'd like you to do is use your finger to open this area. You see what I'm doing? You see what I'm doing? Yeah. Open the area for the nail to grow out. Because as you keep walking, it pushes the skin up to prevent this from nail growing normally. And you get kind of stuck right there. And after about three to four months or so, you're going to have this nail up to about here. And then the problem is skin would keep moving up and it would prevent the nail from growing normally and it's, you may get ingrown toenail again, right? Oh, so sorry to interrupt. If you've enjoyed this video so far, leave the word prevention in the comments below and give this video thumbs up. Don't forget also to subscribe. And here's a link again to my six home remedies video. See you in a bit. At that time, what you want to do is use dental floss, soak it in alcohol, dental floss, right? Or a little cotton, mm -hmm. soak it in alcohol, and you're going to put it underneath the ankle so that it will separate out the skin from the nail. So that this nail needs to grow over all the way to the tip. Mm -hmm. It always gets stuck like right in the middle right here, and that's why you get ingrown toenail again, okay? Mm -hmm. And there's a whole video that I made on this, okay? So I'm, I'm going to have you watch that so that you know exactly what to do. And if you can do that 99% of the time, you don't need that acid procedure that everybody wants you to have done, okay? okay? Okay, and because it's very expensive, right? The acid procedure is three times more expensive than actual procedure you had done, and you have to be off for at least another week or so from the from that procedure as well. Because this was pretty simple, right? You were, what, 
You were, you one had a little bit of pain for like a day or two. Yeah, one. I was uh, one day out from. One day, that's it, right? Yeah, but if you had to, if I had to do the acid to burn the the root, then you would have been off for like a whole week, because this becomes very painful, okay? Because of the procedure itself, right? So that's why if you can do the soaking and put some oil on there, and then uh, massage the area, <coughs> and the nail grows toward the tip, you have to shove the uh, dental floss and then the cotton underneath it so that have the nail grow over the skin. Once that goes to the tip of the nail, then you're home free, okay? Then, then don't mess with it. And don't cut around too short though. Is that why you got this problem, you think? Do you cut around the nail? Yeah, In the corner? Yeah, so you have to let the nail grow to the tip. Okay, well, I'm gonna cut this nail a little bit for you. I know some people are bothered by it. <laughs> so I'm gonna cut a little bit right there for you as well. You see, you see where the tip is? You wanna have the nail grow all the way to the tip. Okay. Don't cut around the corner and that's one of the big problems. A lot of people start getting into the corner and then the skin moves up and prevent that nail from growing normally. Okay, so that's how you prevent this problem. Oh, okay. Okay. So the chance of that getting that big acid uh, procedure is not high, like one out of hundred. Okay. <laughs> but don't be that uh, that uh, one out of hundred. Okay? okay. So if you do all the things, then then you should you should be fine. Okay. Any question? No. No. no? You did good. It looks a lot better, right? Yes. You did great. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Salvador. Okay. Thank you, lot. Okay. Thanks for watching this video. As you can see, you don't need to burn this nail 99% of the time if you can prevent this from growing back abnormally. Burning the area can be painful not only physically for about a week or so versus uh, one to two days from uh, getting just the nail out from this area, and, but also painful financially. It's gonna cost you about three times more to have it burnt. So I think personally it is worth preventing it, don't you? Well, for more videos like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button right now and I post educational or procedure videos like this one every Sunday. See you next week.